In the next 40 seconds, someone will have a stroke. Every four minutes, someone dies. It can be caused by a blockage in your heart, legs, or the main arteries in your neck. And the carotid arteries are the two main arteries that run in the neck and perfuse the front of the brain. Traditional stenting uses a catheter to run a stent up from your arm or groin and can be risky. As we go in up, we can break little pieces of plaque from the aorta near the heart and cause a stroke. That's what UC San Diego vascular surgeon Mahmoud Malas feared would happen to Ricardo Levy after an ultrasound revealed plaque in his carotid artery. Here's the small incision in the neck. Dr. Malas used a combination of procedures to lower the risk for Ricardo. First, he performed a transcarotid artery revascularization, or TCAR. By making a small incision at the base of the neck, we directly can deliver the stent into the carotid artery. Then he reversed the blood flow into the brain. When we're ready to uh, deploy the stents, we clamp the carotid artery right here so the blood will go from the other side of the carotid and get filtered through that filter right here and then back into the femoral vein so the patient does not lose any blood. But essentially, no debris can go up uh, into the brain and we were able to minimize that risk of stroke. This is probably one of the coolest things we do today in vascular surgery. Ricardo thinks so too. There's not even a scar. Uh, maybe with a microscope you can find a scar. I'm Marty Salt reporting.